It just like turned a few days into March and it's gorgeous out here. Look at this t-shirt and shorts, super excited. So remember that tree we cleaned up around last year? Well, I meant to put a swinging rope on it, never got around to it. The kids, uh, they kind of went into something like that. And well, I've been wanting something like that too. So anyways, I have this rope here. It's weighed, tested for about 1100 pounds, plenty of weight for, you know, uh, kids big adults to uh, be swinging on it. It looks like uh, this main trunk is strong enough. Um, I'm gonna tie a, a bowline, a double bowline knot. Test it out, see how it works. But I have to get up there and I don't have an extension ladder, but I do have a tractor. Cool. Well, that's fun. Remember this? What I when I I found in the weeds last year? I'm gonna create a metal pile back on the back part of the property. Because I've been coming across metal and other junk and stuff like that. And I know a guy who's going to come out uh, with a trailer and pick it all up. So I'm gonna get this out of the way right now because it looks kind of messy right here.
must have been the, the previous owners. This must have been their dumping station because <laughs> there's all kinds of trash and debris right here, and it looks like another swing set or something out here. Oh, never mind. There was a second and one out here. There's like a car back there, like a part, like frame of a car and some other metal. What? And junk. So, what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to just bring all the metal that I found out in there and put it in one pile. And then uh, there's a lot of metal up there in that old. How barn are you going to get too. the tractor out of here? I'm going to hook it right now. Be careful, see, Ryers. And then. Once I get a nice big pile, I might have to come out and cut some of the bars to make it more manageable for the guy who's coming with the trailer and then he'll haul off all the metal to be processed. So, like, can you, oh, snap. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it totally undid it. Is there any way to refix it? Well, no, you just have to buy the whole casing. I think you have to buy the whole casing. I mean, you could get to pull the, light, the lights out and stuff, probably. That'd be okay. But, no, this is... Yeah. You have to get these, this whole new new casing, this whole part there. Wow. I'm trying to figure out the easiest way to get these undone without uh, gorilla glue. <laughs> <laughs> gorilla glue. I'm going to. I'm going to take out the bulb and the uh, the wire here, so this thing is not dangling. Looks. So, see where the black wire is there? Yeah. It's like round, I guess. I wonder if that'll just come off. No, why? This whole mechanism should just, looks like the whole mechanism just comes off here. Da, 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 da. Well, let's put it this way. I can keep these as parts because who knows, maybe the next one I get something might break the, uh, oh wow. What, the crack? Out. There's a crack in the actual red filter here what? <laughs> wow so you see what i'm saying so now what i could do is both of these filters i can save so and if i ever just break here. the filter without snapping this off then that'll be handy so so even the back ones in the back, in the back. this is my first i guess major casualty because i mean i have to i'm gonna have to tie these up together and just kind of i don't know wrap them up somewhere in here so that they um, yeah, I'll tie it around here or tie it around here or something. Yeah, something like that. Anyways, the other one was the other day I was uh, using the box blade in the snow and one of the uh, bolts came off of the, not the bolt, but the uh, pins came off of the box blade. And so I had to get that replaced. But that's just a, a, a pin replacement. That is a simple thing. This here. Who knows how much this thing, thing costs? <laughs> oh, and another thing, because I have the box blade off, that box blade is like 600 pounds, I think, somewhere in there. And, you know, everybody says, got to get weights, got to get ballast weights and things like that to hang them on the back when you're driving the tractor around. I did. I noticed a big difference. Without the box blade on the back, it was a lot more yeah, I saw wob that. wobbly. You wanted to... 
when I was using the bucket, it was what it was kind of throwing the back end around a little bit. So I could definitely, definitely see uh, that the advice to get some weights on the back is important. In the meantime, the box blade does work. I mean, if you have a box blade, you have something heavy on the back, it it acts in place of it, but it takes a lot more space. So with the weights, they don't take as much space and you, you benefit from the same amount of balance weight. All right, well, you know, I, <laughs> I really don't use these a lot anyways. So fortunately, it's not a huge, huge deal. Um, I've seen where guys have had this happen before and I was like, ah, that'll be a long time for it. But man, when you get out in the woods and it was just a little tree, little bit tiny tree. I was looking the other direction or something like that. I didn't see what was coming in. It was sticking out and it just kind of just clipped. I heard a snap and I was like, oh no, and looked around and this was dangling. So anyways, lessons learned. All right. Well, that's all for today. Until next time. Keep on tracking, We're geek so with a tractor. I'm a